This is CNN Breaking News. Big breaking news in the Harvey Weinstein story. In fact, he has just been expelled from the Academy of Motion Pictures. I want to bring in our senior media correspondent, Brian Stelter, who's just getting this breaking news. You've got the statement, Brian. What does it say? This is a vote by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, Sciences the group that puts on the Oscars every year. There's a 54-person board of governors that met this morning in Los Angeles, and they voted uh, almost unanimously, perhaps even unanimously, uh, to expel Harvey Weinstein from the Academy. This is significant because it's Hollywood as a whole making a statement, sending a message that Weinstein scene is persona non grata, not welcome back, not welcome to be a part of the film community. Now, there's 54 people I mentioned who are voting on this. That are uh, on the board. That are on the board. These are famed actors like Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks, also some film industry CEOs, but also a lot of folks you don't know the faces of. You can see here Whoopi Goldberg and Steven Spielberg, but then you also have producers, lighting directors, casting artists, makeup artists, people from all around the Hollywood industry. According to the Academy, uh, it was over the two two-thirds um, vote that was needed in order to make this decision. The, the statement says it was well in excess of the required two-thirds majority. So they're not coming out and saying all 54 mm -hmm. members agreed, but they're certainly indicating this was an overwhelming decision by the board. Which is so interesting when you consider the history of the Academy not taking action among other other cases where we That's have right. Bill Cosby who wasn't kicked out, of course Roman Polanski, Mel Gibson who've all been controversial and and have been yeah, accused Roman or Polanski convicted. Roman Polanski is probably the best example. He, he, he admitted he was convicted of raping a 13 year old girl in the 1970s. He went on to win another Oscar uh, about 15 years ago. So he's an example of someone who actually left the country. He is someone who is disgraced and yet remains in the Academy. Uh, Bill Cosby another example. Uh, so this is something the board uh, they, they may be setting precedent here that will affect others in the future because up until now we don't know of any case of a member of the Academy being expelled for conduct that was unrelated to the group. But, you know, if you sell your Oscars tickets to somebody, then yes, you may get kicked out. But in terms of behavior that happens completely unrelated to the group, to the organization, we don't know of a member ever being expelled. Well, Max, more of like personal misconduct. That's I, right. I want to read the full statement now. We can put that up. It says the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Board of Governors met today to discuss the allegations against Harvey Weinstein and has voted well in excess of the required two-thirds majority to immediately expel him from the Academy. We do so not simply to separate ourselves from someone who does not merit the respect of its colleagues, but also to send a message that the era of willful ignorance and shameful complicity in sexually predatory behavior and workplace harassment in our industry is over. What's at issue here is a deeply troubling problem that has no place in our society. The board continues to work to establish ethical standards of conduct that all Academy members will be expected to exemplify. Brian, do you think this is going to send a, a ripple effect throughout the industry? Yes, I'm most struck by the language in the middle there that says, uh, in essence, there was a period of willful, uh, willful ignorance. There was a period of shameful complicity that a lot of folks either looked the other way or helped Harvey Weinstein prey on young women in the industry. Now, uh, we've heard uh, in recent days allegations about, uh, against a couple of other directors and other film executives, mm. nothing to the extent that involves Harvey Weinstein. But Amazon did set, put its head of TV on a leave of absence a couple of days ago because of a harassment allegation against him. Uh, it does seem that uh, Hollywood entertainment industry companies, whether in Hollywood or in Amazon's case, Seattle, entertainment industry companies uh, are paying very close attention and trying to be on the right side of history because for a long time, for decades, this kind of behavior uh, was something that was, uh, I can't, you can't say it was accepted, but it was something that was ongoing in Hollywood. Because uh, you keep hearing about this being a, a sort of hidden secret, but yet right. so many people had either heard um, secondhand whispers, accounts, yeah. the whispers yeah. that you heard about. And, and so we even heard President Trump say he's known Harvey Weinstein for a long time. And He's not surprised by the allegations. That's exactly right. We, but yet he there, didn't come out and condemn him. There are a lot of uh, people who had heard various rumors about Harvey Weinstein over the years. Uh, some people inside his company who knew about his temper, who knew that he was cheating on his wife. We heard from his uh, brother Bob today, Bob Weinstein, who's now trying to run this uh, crippled company that they used to run together, say that he knew that his brother was a cheater, cheated on his wife, but didn't know anything was happening that was non-consensual. Of course, now we know, thanks to the New Yorker, that Harvey 
Harvey Weinstein stands accused of four rapes, which right. he has denied. But the idea and now he, is that through his attorneys, have said those were consensual that's sexual right. activities. But Weinstein has admitted to other improper behavior, and this has been an incredible embarrassment, not just for the Weinstein company, but for Hollywood writ large. So I think that's why we're seeing this board decision today. We've never seen a board meeting like this from the Academy that hosts the Oscars. We've never seen them come together and decide to expel a member for this kind of misconduct. Uh, but it's a sign as with Roger Ailes last year, as with uh, Bill O'Reilly earlier this year losing his show on Fox, another sign of change, a cultural shift in the United States. So he loses his position as a member of this prestigious group, but what about his Oscar? That is interesting. You brought that up. There was some speculation that maybe the, the board would try to take away the Oscar he won for the film Shakespeare in Love. There's no indication from this statement that he's going to have his, his Oscar uh, taken away. I'm not sure if that would have even been possible, uh, if it would have been possible to take that away. But that, that is apparently not happening. Mm -hmm. So he'll keep his Oscar statue. He'll keep his credit for that movie. Uh, but he won't be able, for example, to attend the Academy Awards, won't be able to, to win awards in the future. It is definitely a symbolic move in some ways, but it is a, it is a striking statement from the from the leaders of the Hollywood world, whether it's a, an actor like Tom Hanks or a, a documentary maker like Rory Kennedy, all these people on the board together deciding that he does not belong. And by the way, he's also had his BAFTA membership revoked. That's the British version of this right. group. Uh, next, the Producers Guild, which represents they producers. They were supposed to meet today, but not That's not right. Now they're going to meet all. on Monday because they wanted to see what would happen at the Academy okay. today. But one by one by one, we're seeing all of these Hollywood organizations try to break off ties with Harvey Weinstein. And we're also seeing new investigations, in fact, in New York as well as London. We also talked with Gloria Allred, who's representing, yep. apparently, or has been contacted at least by a number of Harvey Weinstein accusers. She couldn't tell us exactly how many, but she has called for a meeting with the Weinstein Company. What do you know about the future of the Weinstein Company now? There may or may not be a future of the company. This is a TV and film studio responsible for movies like Lion, uh, responsible for shows like Project Runway, uh, shows that you you know you see all over television, all over the all over Netflix, all over TV. Uh, it is crippled right now. The company is trying to figure out if it can survive. It may get sold off in pieces. Uh, it may shut down entirely. Right now, that's an open question in Hollywood. Meanwhile, Harvey Weinstein, who was fired from the company, he's still trying to keep his stake in the company. So there's a lot of internal drama. Uh, but most of all, there's, there's a sense of shame and guilt that this was going on. In some cases, staffers, uh, like I said, they, they may have known something, but they didn't have the full picture. Uh, and as Gloria Allred said to you last hour, now there's this call for the company to help uh, uh, with the victims, try to help them uh, gain some kind of, um, uh, you know, what's what's the word? You know, justice, justice is the for what she happened. Used. Yeah, yeah. Now, now that we'll see what form that takes. But this is a beleaguered company, uh, and now. Uh, we see the Hollywood community really trying to distance itself from Harvey Weinstein. Well, I think the message has been sent, no more. This is not yeah. acceptable in yeah. Hollywood or, or anywhere else. Brian Stelter, thank you Thanks. for that, for breaking the news right here in the CNN newsroom. Also ahead for us this hour.